Hi and welcome to this performance review. This is for the Sophos XGS136. It's the Xtreme model. Um, the new Sophos XGS series has a second processor in it. The idea being that some of the offloading of the security services can be done by the processor itself, or well, the second processor, thus speeding um, things up. It has multiple streams that it can work out which um, are lower risk packets and pass them out um, for faster processing. So let me give you an idea of um, where we are, what this setup is. I'm not tens of thousands of dollars of testing equipment. The whole idea here is something that you can replicate yourself um, at your office um, or at your home. It's gonna give you an idea of what this firewall can do in real terms and in real ways that you can test. Now, I'm in Brisbane, not got the world's best test servers. We are on a dedicated one gig fiber. We've had about two kilometers of our own fiber run in. It's not an MBN extension. It is a true um, one to one uh, content, uncontended fiber connection. Onto that, we have a Ubiquiti Edge router, an ER12, which can comfortably do one gig a second. Now you can see if you've been watching, um, I'm doing this at the later part of the day and the Exitel server is being hammered. Um, so we're not necessarily getting the best results that we can in this. Um, I'm looking really for the high 800s to early 900s in a speed test. That's going to show me that it's on a, a one gig connection. Why? Look, we have packet size, we have frame size, we have MTU, we have a whole bunch of things on here um, that can affect how our connection works. Um, but most of this is going to be down to how the test server at the other end performs. Um, and if it's under load, um, then we're going to have some level of problems being able to test our true um, throughput speed. So I just want to give ourselves, there we go, we've got a test there in about 926. Maybe it's going to clip in just a little bit higher. I'm comfortable that that shows you that the edge router can do one gig over one gig. Um, it gives a little bit of headroom in there. Right, so let's um, just clip my network card over. We're just going to um, switch this over to the uh, Sophos. Like I said, this is a Sophos XG136. Um, I have this um, set up um, in a default config. So all firewalls rules are turned off or all security services are turned off. Um, and so when we do this speed test now, um, let's put this back to Exitel um, for the speed test. This should give us an idea of what the unit can do with no firewall rules running um, and no security services. So like I said, um, we're looking for that high 800s to 900s, a um, little bit of a later part in the day. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of grace. I have run a demo of this already and we were clipping in about 937 meg um, as the fastest speed. And we'll do another test in a moment. So I'm happy really that this firewall will give us um, a gig on a gig with all the security services off. So that's our starting point. The XGS136 is the top of the um, desktop range. It's not a rack mount. We're gonna be pushing it somewhat um, at a gig anyway, um, but some people with the price point, because we have a real difficulty point here, don't we, of how much we spend on the firewall to the speed of the internet connection we have and what it feels like for our users. What's gonna actually happen for our users are they really gonna notice if a download takes 10 or 20 seconds longer? Um, probably not, the balance is for the security um, there. All right, so we haven't done well on our overall speed tests here. Well, let's just try it one more time and see if we can get this up to um, a useful speed. There we go, we're high, high 800s now, we might clip into the 900s. Happy with that, that this unit out the box, no security services running, will do a gig connection. All right, so we're gonna move on first um, to our uh, web policies. I have this currently set up to use a single engine for scanning um, and it's doing it in real time. This is a faster user experience. Um, as you can see, it allows part of the files to be um, scanned before it carries on and makes everything happen. So I'm not really gonna expect this to make a lot of difference. Why? Because we're really just looking in the packets. So let's just turn our, we're just gonna use a default policy um, we're not going to be doing any traffic shaping. We're looking at HTTPS and HTTP. As you know, probably about 85% of your network is already encrypted. So you do want to look at doing um, unencryption. Uh, so deep packet inspection for your SSL, for your HTTP traffic, HTTPS traffic. That does involve putting a, a secure certificate 
on all of your devices. But once you do that, the firewall works as a man in the middle. It first uncrypts the traffic, um, inspects it, re-encrypts it, sends it on to the end secure site. So this does have a performance kit. This is not the same as SSL VPN. SSL VPN is your ability to connect to this device um, using HTTPS and see resources on the other side of it. That's a little bit more difficult to test. Um, and we would see probably, um, because you're often pulling off higher uh, amounts of um, uh, data, that maybe you're probably going to see this box here run at about 250 to 300 megasecond. We are devising a few tests and we will do a performance um, review later on on SSL VPN, but it's not quite the same as what we're looking at here. So we're just going to turn on the default workplace service that comes uh, service policy that comes with this unit, and we're just going to rerun that speed test again. So again, we're looking for the high 800s, early 900s. That's going to significantly show us that there's really very little impact. Look, we're still hitting there 936, 937 megasecond, 938. With content filtering on, your users are not going to see anything different. One gig connection, one gig speed. Quite happy um, with that. All right, so we might then go and turn on advanced threat protection. All right, ATP. This is going to inspect all of the content, whether it's trusted or not. This is going to help us look for other um, things in here that are um, potentially unwanted. Now, realistically, this will work with the intrusion prevention service. So turning this on is not necessarily going to give us uh, much of a difference uh, as we go. But let's just rock up a speed test on here. Um, and I would expect us really to not see anything uh, different. There we go. Look, high 800s, early 900s. We've not really seen anything happen on that. So let's um, now go to our policy. Um, we are going to turn on, we're just going to check that we change this over. Uh, actually, let's put this to dual engine, all right, and maximum protection. So now we have a little bit more of a, a pressure on this unit. This unit is going to be inspecting every piece of information, but it's now going to be using two engines to check it. Um, it uses Sophos and a third party um, to give us some resilience and other checks. All right, so let's go back um, and hit our firewall rule. We are looking again to hit that high 800s, early 900s. I don't think we're going to be far off that. Um, maybe we've dropped a meg or so a second. Um, I would probably expect that. Um, but you can see our test, I think it's going to come in about 936. There we go. So maybe there's a meg or so, but that could just be the test server. I'm not really going to quibble about that. Your users are not going to notice any difference. Now we're going to turn on um, some application control. Application control in here helps us identify unwanted products or uh, unwanted software. This really shouldn't make any difference for us. Why? Because it's just a yes or no system. So if we come back to this point here, we're going to run a test again. Just this is where you might be able to block things like peer to peer and Tor and, and other applications that you don't want to run on your network. If this is your home, maybe you're going to be stopping some uh, gaming protocols from running as well, but it really shouldn't take a hit of what's happening. Um, this we know is the speed test server, not expecting anything um, wrong in this. This is still going to be in our high 800s. We will let it run again in a moment. Um, but like I said, a little bit difficult with the speed test servers to get the consistency um, that we need in the demo that I ran before I did this, just to be sure. Um, we actually saw no performance um, decrease when we install when we set up this service. So let's just give this another run and a go. Hopefully we get a slightly lower ping. If we get a slightly less of a ping, we're at 1.5 milliseconds. There we go. We've hit our high 800s, early 900s. So I'm happy with two tests to show you that that really makes no difference. We're now going to turn on our zero day protection. What's our zero day protection? This is where we don't know that something is potentially malware or not. So maybe we're downloading an exe file or something of those types. If the firewall is unsure about it, it will pause it. It can load it into a sandbox, into a virtual environment, run it, test what it does, um, and then write signatures to block it, pass it with other um, SOFOS appliances and um, endpoints um, to give us an extra level of security. Again, this is more of a yes or no, um, certainly in the web filtering side of things. Um, so we're not necessarily going to see much of a difference here. 
and there you go. We hit our high 800s, early 900s. We've maybe dropped one megasecond, maybe nothing at all on that. Right, so that's all great. If we're interested in content filtering, application control, some level of zero day protection, great. But you know what? Most of those are actually useless um, without this one final service that we need, and that's intrusion prevention. Now, I want to just say this for you. All the vendors say, hey, this shows our firewalls in not the right light. Like I said to you in the beginning, this is all about a balance between the cost of the firewall, the speed of your internet connection, right? What you want to get as throughput and what your user experience wants to be. So the idea of these performance reviews is to help you state where this firewall would fit and whether it would fit in your environment. So we're going to turn on intrusion prevention. Really, that's going to fire up all of those other services like zero day protection. It's going to look at anti-malware, anti-spyware and all of those type of things. Now we're inspecting it for everything that's happening. We're going to expect some level of hit to happen. We're just going to choose general policy. Like I said, we've got no traffic shaping running on here. I'm not really worried about FTP. I'm not really worried about these services down here. Why? Because I'm just doing a speed test, which is HTTP, HTTPS, and port 8080. Like I said, I'm a single user with one firewall rule. The more firewall rules, um, the more processing power. The more users, the more processing power. So this is, helps you hopefully define where this box would sit based on how many firewall rules, how many users. So let's just set that set. I can hear the fans, the, the Sophos XGS136 is in the rack next to me. I can hear the fans spin up um, in anticipation of doing a little bit more work. Now let's get this going. All right. So it'll be interesting to see. Now that's a significant drop. All right, we're going to do several speed tests just to prove this because obviously we've had some ups and downs in our speed test so far. In my previous um, test that we've done, we've seen this drop to around about 740 megasecond. Now, the system will learn. Like I said, the idea of the extreme setup is that it's got a number of streams. It can hand off some of this process into other processes. We can increase the throughput of traffic that it believes is safe. It's doing that and it's learning all along. So let's fire this up and then give it another go. Our intrusion prevention is the glue that holds all these services together. It is the thing that makes it do what it does. It's learned. Possibly the test server is a little bit more available as well. We're seeing a slightly higher um, result. We will run it one more time after this. So let me help you. Where would I start to position, position this firewall? It is the top of the, ex, uh, of the desktop units. I would position this on a network that can is doing... 500 to 600 megasecond. That means this unit can run all the security services, all right, without any degradation for anybody. Look, you can see 652 megasecond without a problem at all, consistently from all of these tests. Let's just see if we get, we're going to get a little bit higher this time. Like I said, the highest I've seen this um, is just around about 740 megasecond. Don't forget, we started at 937 megasecond with all the security services turned off. So I would put this 35 to 40 users or 45 users and around about a 500 to 600 megasecond connection. That will deliver what you want over and over and over again. If you want to run this on a one gig connection, great. As you can see, it'll do it. You're not going to get one gig a second with the security services turned on. You could put some firewall rules in there that allow certain users or certain devices um, access through um, those firewall rules so they don't get any of the intrusion prevention services and everything else running, which will increase your speed. So hopefully it's given you an idea of what this unit can do. I love this unit. They've got a great number of features, easy to use, easy to set up, but obviously your performance there is going to be a little bit lower. It does take a little bit more of a hit. All right, well, let's run one more of these while I tell you, do hop on over to our YouTube channel. You'll find loads more uh, performance reviews. Uh, box openings on networking, firewalls, and wireless, how-to guides on um, how to set up your Sophos, how to secure your Sophos, all of those types of things. All right, as you can see there, just under, uh, this one's coming, just under 800 megasecond. Um, fantastic unit. Um, this was a performance review on the Sophos XGX, the uh, Sophos, <laughs> even that, the Sophos XGS136. Hopefully it's been useful. Um, do let us know. Um, where it fits in your network.